Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. I'm going to quote my friend Kenny, who says that Slayers got the best metal album of the year. And right now, they're on the Headbangers Ball with us. Tom and Carrie, welcome to the ball. Now, um, since South of Heaven was released, it's been about two years since your new album, right? Right. When did you start recording it? July. <laughs> July. <laughs> Say it with authority. In the yeah. Was it any different recording this album? Did you notice any difference as opposed to when you were recording the last one? The new album's called Seasons in the Abyss, right? Yep. Okay. Season, this one, this one, we had more uh, a lot of input. In fact, a lot of it was more. Uh, it was us and, and Andy Wallace, mm -hmm. with uh, Ruben kind of supervising the whole mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the procedure. Now, finally, we've got a Slayer video because a lot of people. I mean, we always get a lot of letters, and a lot of times, um, a lot of people write in and say, "When do you want to play any videos from Slayer?" And we've never had any videos from Slayer, and we finally got a video from you guys. Why did you decide now to make a video, and why haven't you made one in the past? <laughs> you want to answer that? Politics. <laughs> <laughs> That's always when you can't think of it. It's, it's the politics. Uh, well, it's just, you know, things move Didn't a little slow. Didn't pan out. Things, that way. things move a little slow sometimes. Uh huh. So slow that they, we had to wait till this record to do the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we finally got a video from you guys, and uh, it's called War Ensemble. Do you want to talk Ensemble. a little bit about it? or? It was filmed live at Wembley in, uh -huh. in the UK, and uh, is. A very long show, very tiring show. In fact, uh, we did it live because uh, apparently there's a, a procedure you guys use when when you record, you sort of lip sync to the song live, even though it's in an, it's in an arena form. But, and I had to sit there and explain to these kids that that's what we were gonna do. And Slayer fans, you're yeah, and they didn't, they didn't like, like, yeah, right. No, they didn't that's like what they it. Said. Yeah, <laughs> they like, no, they sat there and they just booed. Uh -huh. So we went back out and said, all right, well, we're gonna have to do it live then. So here it goes. Cool. So we had to do the song twice in one set. So it was pretty well, cool. Now you know the behind the scenes of this next video. Here is Slayer with War Ensemble. We're back on the Headbangers Ball. I got Tom and Carrie from the band Slayer here. Now, um, you guys have like rather rambunctious fans, right? Is that a, a, a safer word to, to use? That's pretty fair. I mean, yeah. People go nuts at Slayer shows. Nah. No, they do. Nah, they do. Nah. Now, it's you guys nice. just got done with the Clash of the Titans, right? Yes. Yeah, so and that was playing across Europe and... Yeah. We did how many? So it's 19 cities? 19 shows? 19-ish. What was the biggest crowd you played for? 11,000. Uh-huh. And what was it like when you see 11,000 people? To me, it's like Slayer. seeing 25. I mean, they paid to see you do your best, you know? Uh -huh. So I do it for 25, I do it's it for 11. As hell. Which, yeah. do you like, which do you like playing more? Do you like playing in front of like tons of people or do you like playing in the small clubs? I just like playing in front of kids, period. Yeah. I always have this one nightmare that nobody will, sh no, nobody will come to a show, you know? Uh -huh. That's but my it hasn't biggest nightmare. No, it hasn't happened yet. It uh -huh. seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. There's certain areas that Slayer is not, are not allowed to play? At some places, yeah. Uh -huh. we'll, you know, we'll find out this year. So when we get this tour together, that will start sometime in January. Now, when can we expect to see Slayer out in your cities? Sometime in January and February. That's what I was getting to. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's uh, discuss a little bit about some of the songs on the album. For instance, maybe I can just mention some of the titles, and you can tell me what they're about, like Expendable <coughs> Youth. That's about uh, L.A. gang violence. Are you guys from L.A.? Or? Yeah, from L.A. Uh -huh. All of us from L.A. originally. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's worrying I read that couch to death, man. Huh? You're worrying that couch to death. Hey, I gotta keep my hands <laughs> busy. <laughs> and um, I guess the song "Dead Skin Mask" does that have anything to do with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No, the Texas oh. Chainsaw Massacre was completely different from. Uh, <laughs> from well, it's, a, it's about Ed Gein, uh -huh. who was up in Milwaukee in Plainfield, and he used to collect body parts. He was a grave robber. And he also used to kill people. And so that's, your love, that's your love ballad, right? Yeah, it is. Well, that's right. Yeah, it is. It's, okay. For this one, it is, yeah. <laughs> okay, coming up, we're going to still have Paradise City from GNR. But right now, here's the number three Skull Crusher of the Week. Here is Poison with Something to Believe in. It's an awesome band. <laughs> we're back on the Headbangers Ball with the guys from Slayer. Now, uh, Slayer, you, guys, you have been around since uh, 1982, right? Mm, yeah, 82. Which has been... Quite a while for yeah. speed metal bands. Now, do you see? I mean, it seems to me that the speed metal scene is really growing a lot. Yep. Do you see any of the new bands? I mean, do you think that everybody's kind of trying to jump on a speed metal bandwagon, or no. not so much anymore? No, not yeah. originally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think but. there's a there's a lot of bands that have been growing. I mean, there's a lot of bands that have kind kind of like started with that, but I mean, have evolved to their own to their own. Uh, like Testament is one, right? You know, same with Death Angel. They're like uh -huh. they're they're growing, and there's a lot of new bands that are sounding really, really good. Now this album seems to, seems to me that when it came out, I mean, it, it's doing real good. It's up on Billboard, up on the charts, and seems to be selling a lot of records. Is that really important, Billboard? 
I don't know. I mean, just, it, to me, well, when you look <laughs> at charts that, you know, to see if it sells records. Think, they think, you know, <laughs> big, big <laughs> deal, you know, that there's a... Well, that's, I mean, to see if records are selling, so it looks like your so record's way up there with all the other ones, so well, I imagine that down, a lot of people are buying the records. Then you get down to which stores actually report, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, the, okay, the record is doing good this time. Yeah, okay. it's doing, no, I'm not, I, I think it's doing great. I think I'm glad, I'm very happy kids are buying our record, uh -huh. but it's just, I sit there and I thought about it the other day, it's like, well, how important is a number on a chart? When, when what's more important is that the kids like the record. Who cares? And the kids like the record. Yeah, they like the getting record. real good feedback. Yeah, getting now, real we've, good we've, feedback. We've seen your first video. Yeah. Are we going to see another video from Slayer? Hopefully. Yeah. You guys yeah, like doing like, videos? Are you happy with the way it came out? Yeah, yeah, because it's kind of very expressive. I mean, it it, it captures um, the visually it has the intensity that we we you know we are on stage. I guess you know it kind of captures the the music and the intensity of the of the music itself mm -hmm. visually. And to me, that's like. I was really impressed. I was like, "Whoa, great!" You know, so I'm kind of we, you know, we went to a radio station uh, last night, WBAB, the Bab, and um, the, um, a lot of the kids that were out there said they saw the video on the TV and they like they really liked it. So good, thanks a lot, dude. Great. Well, and I'm sure we'll be playing it more on the Headbangers. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by, and. Uh, of course, you'll probably be seeing Slayer on the road somewhere. <laughs> Just tell me to look all around. Anyway, right now, here's Queensryche with the best I can.